This is the EA3 from Rogue. I just got it for 80 bucks new from Musician's Friend. And I am very happy with it. This is my first lap steel guitar I've never played before. Um, but I'm not, I'm not new to guitars. And I would consider this like Squire Bullet quality probably. Which, if you've ever played a Squire Bullet, they're actually not that bad. Especially with a guitar like this, you don't need to worry about neck warpage or anything like that. So you kind of can't go wrong. The tuning pegs are really pretty nice. They feel like higher quality than you would expect. Came with strings. Um, the, the, the bridge feels pretty solid. Um, sounds nice. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't sound as nice as a Fender or a Gretsch or something, but played through a decent amp, it's going to sound good. Uh, came with legs. The legs are not, the legs are the chintziest part of the package, but they work. I mean, it's, it's not real solid, but it's not real floppy either. Um, there was one little flaw I found on it, out of the box. Probably can't really see it, but down here by one of the leg mounts, there's just a little bit of a nick in the paint, but it's not a big deal. This is the metallic blue color. I really like it. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and it came with a gig bag. Which is, again, surprisingly high quality. There's a spot for the legs in, right here. And there's a place where you can put your slide right there. It didn't come with a slide, so I bought a Dunlop steel uh, bar. Um, which was, I don't know, 17 bucks or something. I've been playing with it tonight, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I will have a video of me playing it through my um, my Ampeg Reverb Rocket. It's one of those things where even a cheap guitar through a halfway decent amp is going to sound pretty good. So, kind of can't go wrong for 80 bucks. They have the the next higher one. I can't remember what it's called for like 170 or something. And it looks a little bit nicer, but man, for 80 bucks or it was on sale for 80, but I think you can get it elsewhere for 80. It's normally 100. For a hundred bucks, if you want to try to try out lap steel playing, pretty much can't go wrong. I tuned it to uh, C6, and it it uh, it held its tune just fine. I tuned it and went away for a few hours and came back, and it was still. It's gonna grab the pick. It was still in tune. <laughs> 